story to tell. China is confident on its path to becoming a military power. Over the years, China developed a promising long-range radar surveillance and control aircraft, the Shan KJ-600. Photos of this plane show an official prototype that has been built and is ready for testing. The Shan KJ-600 is a twin-engine, high-wing, and airborne early warning and control aircraft expected to be deployed on the People's Liberation Army Navy TAF-003 aircraft carrier from around 2022. China confidently asserted that the KJ-600 early warning and control aircraft would be as powerful as the US E-2. But the truth about the strength of this Chinese weapon remains skeptical. According to the South China Marine Post, the KJ-600 has completed a test flight with a radar that can detect U.S. air fighters. The new KJ-600 early warning and control aircraft took off for the first time in August 2020 two years after Chinese media reported the program. The aircraft is equipped with a large active electronically scanned array AESA radar, which helps the aircraft detect stealth fighters like the US F-22 and F-35. Jen's Asia-Pacific expert John Gravett said the EASA radar allows the KJ-600 to detect and track targets at a larger scale, improve situational awareness, and gain a better understanding of an impending threat. Along with that, Chinese military experts are very confident that the KJ-600 will bring advantages to the Chinese military. Currently, the country's aircraft carriers still have to use helicopters and radar systems on board to gather intelligence. After completing the tests and officially equipping the KJ-600, China will become the third country to own a fixed-wing airborne early warning and control aircraft operating on the carrier after the US Navy and France. Although the Chinese military is very confident in the capabilities of the KJ-600 and the advantages it offers. According to the US military experts, the KJ-600 is early higher than the AN-24 and far behind the US E-2 Hawkeye. In order to carry out its mission, the E-2 is equipped with a special disc above the body, fitted the AN-APS-145 surveillance radar and the OL-483AP identification friend or flow system. Each AN-APS-145 system on the original E-2 was capable of detecting 2,000 targets and locking 40 targets at a distance over 300 kilometers, able to detect targets at a range of 450 kilometers. The radar is also resistant to geophysical interference and enemy electronic warfare measures, the US Navy said. According to international military experts, the AESA radar system on the KJ-600 can only detect targets at a maximum distance of 200 km. Compared with the upgraded E-2, the Chinese aircraft 
has a target detection range of only half that of the US aircraft. In addition to the radar system, the E-2s are also equipped with a variety of radio and data transmission combinations to simplify operation, as well as connecting and transmitting targets parameters for fleet fighters and electronic warplanes. The Hawkeye variants have been continuously built since 1960, making it the most successful carrier-based airborne early warning and control aircraft with the longest production line in American history. Grumman has so far produced more than 210 E-2s for the US Navy and allies such as Egypt, France, Israel, Japan, Mexico, Singapore, etc. The E-2 Block 2 improved version appeared in 1992 with many changes in engine and radar. The new E-2D version was mass-produced in 2013 to gradually replace the E-2C in the future in order to maintain the god eyes for the US carrier group during the mission. Meanwhile, the new KJ-600 only made its first flight with radar on its back. In terms of both scientific level and real combat capabilities, for the KJ-600 to match the US E-2, it may take China much longer. My video of the Chinese KJ-600 early warning control aircraft ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.